Now on Toledo News this morning, getting justice. An arrest is made in a murder from earlier this month. Hear the age of the suspect, and it may surprise you. Plus, gold medals. Congratulations are in order for a guest familiar to viewers of TNTM. I'll explain coming up. And youth programming, how you can provide a unique opportunity for young people in the city of Toledo. It's Saturday, January 21st, 2023. Good Saturday morning, I'm Jaden Jefferson and thanks for joining me for Toledo News this morning. We start with a check of your forecast. Today you can expect a high in the mid 30s and a low in the upper 20s. Here's a reminder that northbound I-75 is reduced to two lanes between Buck Road and South Avenue and will be through the fall. Toledo police have arrested and charged with murder a 15 year old in connection to the January 9th murder of another 15 year old. DeAsia Green was initially reported missing and was later found dead in the 1300th block of Page Street. Anyone with relevant information in this case is asked to call or text Crime Stopper at 419-255-1111. A safe room is a very important thing to have if you live in an area where dangerous weather events are likely, such as tornadoes, which is why the Ohio EMA is offering a rebate to homeowners who don't already have a safe room to create one. The program provides a rebate to homeowners of up to 75% of the cost to install or construct a safe room, up to a maximum of $4,875 to homeowners selected for the program. The rebate program will use a computerized, random selection process to select names. Those selected applicants will be notified after the random drawing of their ranking on the priority list. For additional information on the program's rules and regulations, or to apply, visit ema.ohio.gov. Homeowners with questions should contact Ohio EMA Mitigation Specialist Dan Clevidence at 614-799-3533. The City of Toledo Department of Parks and Youth Services has announced the availability of $2 million in funding to support new recreational programming for youth. Applicants will have the choice to apply for funding for summer programs running from early June through mid-August or school year programs running from mid-August through May of 2024. Applicants can apply for up to $50,000 per program session to support programs focused on the health and wellness of youth and young adults. Programs should provide opportunities to learn, be engaged, be active, and have fun. Program categories include, but are not limited to, leadership development and mentoring, sports and athletics, fitness and health, nature and outdoor experiences, performing arts and media, arts and creativity, family fun, and academic and career readiness. Applications must be submitted online through Friday, February 10th. Award announcements will be made following approval by Toledo City Council. Selected awardees will be required to attend a mandatory orientation prior to receiving funding. For additional information or to complete an application, visit this story at janereports.medium.com. If you're a consistent TNTM viewer, you may remember my conversation with Beth Meyer, who competed in the Special Olympics back in 2022. Meyer is a resident of Bittersweet Farms in White House, an organization that specializes in serving people with autism spectrum disorders. And recently, Meyer added two gold medals to her collection after competing in the Special Olympic Skiing Competition, which ran from January 9th through the 10th in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Beth trained December 18th to the 22nd of December at Boyne Mountain Resort in Michigan. And of course, my congratulations to Beth, and I know this is definitely a big deal for her. With Saturday's news, I'm Jaden Jefferson. Have a great, restful weekend.